It's a disturbing practice happening across the country. People posing as lawyers and duping clients out of hundreds of thousands of dollars. Eight people have been caught doing this in BC just this month. So we've got Tanya Walker, a real lawyer, and she's been following the story closely. She's here today. Tanya, thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. Like This honestly sounds like a story out of Suits. Yes. This is what the whole show is based off of. How common is this? And are certain types of people more susceptible to this? Yes, it's, it's quite common online. Um, it's said that it, one bill billion dollars worth of fake degrees are purchased each year. One and billion? One billion dollars of fake degrees, all degrees, not just law degrees, wow. are purchased every year. And I think that the uh, most vulnerable segments of the population are baby boomers, aging uh, people, because they don't may not as be as well tuned in as te with technology as younger, the younger generation. And also immigration. People who want to immigrate to Canada, they don't live here, and they want someone here to assist them to get to this country. Absolutely. Someone who's less familiar with the, the laws and the rules here in Canada could easily be manipulated into thinking something is legit when it isn't. Right, and it's difficult for them to verify the person's credentials because they just don't know. Oh, especially if there's a language barrier. You just see the opportunity that criminals are finding. So what kind of damage can a fake lawyer do? A lot. So one thing is that you, the judgment is not automatically overturned because you were represented by a fake lawyer. You have to demonstrate that there was a miscarriage of justice. And if there wasn't a miscarriage of justice, like the, fa the facts weren't presented properly, the judgment still stands. Also, with lawyers, if um, there's an issue with them, you can report that person to the Law Society, get compensation up to 500000 or sue that lawyer. We're all covered by the same insurer in Ontario, Law Pro, and you could uh, get a judgment for a few million dollars that is paid by an insurer. You can't do that with a fake lawyer. So all a judge does for you when you win is write that you've won. It's up to you to collect. right? So if you, the person doesn't have any assets or is purporting to be a lawyer, you're out of luck. Are you serious? Very. That is unreal because you just can end, you can see how intimidating that whole system would be for someone who is just trying to get help, who needed a lawyer in the first place, and now they've got to fight this uphill battle to to get their money back. It's really not fair. It's a privilege to be a lawyer in this country, and I don't like that people are taking advantage of the vulnerable population. Okay, so how do you spot a fake? Well, you should verify the person's credentials. So if the person has a website with a bunch of stock photos, Try and see if you can take a few minutes to visit that person's office. Call the Law Society, verify the person is who that person is. Uh, be a little bit suspicious if the person doesn't have any pictures on their website or it's just too good to be true. Also, uh, as lawyers, we're only accept allowed to accept around $7,500 in cash per file. So if a lawyer is asking you to pay cash of $50,000, that should send a red flag to you. Red flag right away. Tanya, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.